As the Britain 5 will be released shortly, it includes the design of cantilever, counterfort, and basement retaining walls, and a new module has been added to the package for the design of sheet pile walls. This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to review some of the most important new features in this coming version 5 of ASDIP Retain. Let's get started. Let's open a calculation of a cantilever retaining wall. Double click. This is a template of a cantilever retaining wall design in ASDIP Retain 5. Here in the geometry tab, you enter the geometric information for the stem, for the footing, and for the backfill and cover. In the loads tab, in the backfill tab, you enter the information of the material properties for the backfill, and then the program calculates the lateral pressures according to the earth pressure theory specified here. Or you can specify your own pressures applied to the back of the wall. This is a new feature in this version of ASDI Retain. We go to the source charge tab. Here you can specify uniform source charge, dead and live, and also strip source charge, dead and live. In the previous version of ASD Britain, we had only one input field, either for dead or live. Now we have both, dead and live. We go to the concentrated tab. Here you can specify a vertical and horizontal load at the top of the wall. In the previous version, we had only vertical load and one input field, just for either dead or live. Now we have vertical and horizontal loads and dead and live. In the wind tab, you specify the wind pressures. And in the seismic tab, here are the seismic parameters. In the materials tab, we enter the material properties for the stem, for the footing, and for the bearing wall. And in the reinforcement tab, there are a number of controls to specify the rebars for the stem, for the footing, and for the shear key. In the right pane, the other glance shows a summary of the results. The condensed tab, you can see a more detailed set of calculations grouped by topic. And you go to the detail tab, you can see a more detailed set of calculations step by step with reference to the ACI. And in the graph tab, here there are a number of new tabs. In the previous version, we had only one tab for the stability analysis. Now in this version of ASDIP Retain 5, we have a separate tabs for overturning, for sliding, and for bearing. In addition, there's a tab for the stem design for the footing design, and one tab for the construction sketches. Note that all the graphical results can be sorted by load combination. If we click on this icon, we go to the load combinations. In the previous version of ASGIP Retain, there were only these two options available, as a 705 or as a 71016. Now in this version, we have implemented the ASHTO LRFD20 and also a user-defined load combination. Here you can specify your own load factors and apply to the load combinations. For example, if we select the ash to lrfd load combinations, here there are the predefined load combinations according to the code, the service, the strength load combinations, and the extreme load combination. Note that the strength load combinations include the maximum and the minimum. For example, these are the maximum uh, load factors for the strength one, this is the minimum load factors for the strength one uh, load combination, and so on. The ash to lrfd load combinations are selected. Let's click on OK. Then all the analysis complies with the ash to lrfd For example, this is the analysis overturning. So ash to measures the eccentricity of the reaction at the base rather than the overturning uh, safety factor. And this can be sorted by the ash to load combinations. If we go to the sliding tab, this is the sliding analysis per the ASHTO provisions. And if we click on the bearing tab, this is the bearing analysis per the ASHTO provisions. Please note that the loads are applied according to the analysis performed. For example, the loads applied in bearing are different to the loads applied in overturning. So the type of loads are included in the ASHTO provisions and they have been implemented in ASDIP Retain 5. They can be sorted also by load combinations, and you can select the controlling load combination as well. Let's go back to the project manager. A new module has been added to the package for the design of sheet pile retaining wall. Let's create a calculation for this module, example. And the calculation has been added to the tree. Double click. And this is the template of the new module in ASDIP Retain 5 for the design of sheet piling. In the left pane, in the Geometry tab, 
you specify all the geometric information such as the excavation depth the soil slope angles for the back soil and also the location of the water table in the materials tab you can model up to four layers of soil and you can specify the material properties for each layer the soil uh, moist density saturated density the friction angle phi and the cohesion in the wall tab you enter the material properties for the sheet piling itself the yield strength fy and the modulus of elasticity in the loads tab the soil tab you enter the soil lateral pressure theory either coulomb active ranking active or at rest in the surcharge tab you can specify uniform surcharge dead and life and in the seismic tab you enter the seismic parameters for your design in the right pane the program generates uh, the pressure diagrams in this case for uh, the surcharge the active pressure at the back of the wall and then and the, the effect of the water table in the back in the front of the wall this is the passive pressure of the soil and this is the water effect for the water table at the bottom of the page, the program generates the loading diagram showing the combined active pressures at the back of the wall, the combined passive pressures in the front of the wall, and then at the tip of the wall showing the passive pressure at the back. If we go to the diagrams tab, the program generates the shear diagram for the system, also the moment diagram, and uh, the deflection of the sheet piling. Numerically, the program calculates the required uh, embedment depth and also the maximum moment and shear and calculates the required uh, section modulus for your sheet piling. As you can see, we have implemented several important features in this new version of ASDIP Retain, in particular the load combinations by Ashto LRFD20. This is important in the design of bridge abutments. Also, we implement a different type of loads and separate tabs for each stability failure mode. In addition, we added to the package this module for the design of sheet piling retaining walls. We are confident that you will find this new version very useful in your projects. Thank you for your attention.